for most people, stem cells is something, is a treatment, is something that is done to you. You go somewhere to receive an injection of stem cells. But what is emerging from the past 20 years of research in the field of stem cell research is that stem cells are your natural repair system. Stem cells don't mean something to you when one day you have the chance to get an injection. Stem cells mean something to you from the day you are born. You release stem cells from your bone marrow every day and they, they play an absolutely, uh, not only a critical role in tissue repair, but they, they play a vital role in your survival and in your aging. So most age-related diseases are caused by a decline in the number of circulating stem cells. And to me, the best way to really sort of, um, um, how could I say, to, to sandwich this concept of stem cells between the two extremes, what I call extremes, there's two pieces of information that to me are just like mind-blowing regarding what stem cells are in your body and what they mean today for your body, for your health, for your physiology. So the first one is a, uh, a study that was published almost 10 years ago by Doris Taylor. Uh, who is a pioneer in the field of stem cell research. And she isolated the heart of a mouse, then digested this, the cardiac tissue, the muscle, with digestive enzymes, so that at the end, all that you have is the soft skeleton of the heart, the collagen, the connective tissue of that heart, which, although it is only collagen in connective tissue, it still has the signature that it was the heart. And then she took stem cells from that same animal and laid out these stem cells on that soft skeleton, that connective tissue. And within a matter of a one to two weeks, you have a beating heart in a test tube. The reason why that study is so powerful is that this is the role of your stem cells in your body. You will never be in a condition where your heart is completely gone just with the soft skeleton of your heart and then your heart can rebuild. This will never happen in your life. What will happen, however, throughout your entire life is that various organs and tissues in your, uh, of your body will degenerate, will decline, will lose cells to an extent not completely, but to an extent. And that cellular loss will be the cause of any kind of health problems that you may experience as you age. Well, if stem cells can rebuild entirely, like an entire heart, then obviously they can repair to a smaller extent other tissues. And of all tissues, if they can do, to, do it to the heart, then they, they, they can do it to everything else because they can also do it to the brain uh, to a lesser extent and in a different way, but they can also do it to the brain. So the brain and the heart are the two tissues that have been traditionally considered as organs that can, and tissues that cannot repair. And now we know very well with the field, you know, as, as part of research in the field of stem cell research, that stem cells can indeed become heart cells and brain cells and can repair the heart and the brain. So first piece of information, the amazing regenerative potential of your stem cells in your bone marrow that are being released every day of your life. The other piece of information that is sort of the, the negative side, if I could say, is to understand that we have evolved throughout the past tens of thousands of years, biologically speaking, we have evolved with a life uh, a lifespan, a life expectancy of roughly about 30 years of age, which means that all the pressure for evolution, we develop a hand which with, we can grasp, thing, grasp things, we develop vocal cord, we develop the brain, there are many things that we have developed in our evolution, and all these things are pushed by necessity. If you die at an average of 30 years of age, and that's life expectancy, there is no pressure in the environment, in the human species, to develop longevity. And longevity is tied to your stem cells. So we end up today with bodies that have red marrow at birth that slowly or rapidly start to slowly transform into yellow marrow so that at age 30, you have lost almost 95% of your red marrow, which is your ability to make stem cells. And that is directly mirrored by the number of stem cells in circulation. So as you age, you, you reach age 30, and this process happens slowly during the first 30 years of life, but as you, you reach age 30, you have lost almost 95% 
of your original stem cells. And it is somewhere in our 30s that we start to discover that we're no longer Superman, Wonder Woman. When, when, when we get an injury, it does not repair as quickly and as easily or as effectively as before. Sometimes we can carry injuries over weeks, months, uh, and it's also the time when we start to get up in the morning and realize that we think about our health. That's because we're starting to lose it. Small things at first, and it grows, and it's simply because we have crossed that threshold where we no longer have enough stem cells in circulation to offset the day-to-day -day cellular loss that is taking place everywhere in the body. Each organ and tissue of your body is constantly going through a process of tissue turnover. You lose cells every day, they are replaced. All your organs of tissue and tissues have a different turnover rate. You have a new lining of the intestine every five days, a new skin every month, a new liver every two, three years, new pancreas four to six years, uh, new muscles nine years, half of a new heart every 25 years. These numbers are not precise because very few studies have been done to determine the actual turnover rate of these tissues. But out of many, many observations, part of, as part of many studies that have been done, we can derive an estimation. But at the very least, the concept you understand here, regardless of the timing, is that your organs and tissues are constantly in the process of tissue turnover. You lose cells, and to stay healthy, these cells must be replaced replaced and that's the role of your stem cells so when in your 30s you cross that threshold where you don't have enough stem cells to offset cellular loss what start to happen is that cellular, cellular cellular loss starts to accumulate in your life and as it moves forward there's a point when we have lost more than 60% of your cells making insulin in your pancreas, that's diabetes. When you have lost more than a certain number of cells in your heart, well, that's heart disease. Every single disease, age-related or degenerative disease, is linked to the loss of a certain type of cell or cellular function. And you don't replace or regenerate these cells because you have a decrease in the number of circulating stem cells. So my point here is that we don't have the biology to have longevity beyond 30 years of age. We need to do something. We need to hack the body in order to enhance the parts of your body that are responsible to grant us longevity. What has happened in our evolution is that over the past 150 years, our life expectancy has gone from 30 years of age to 80 years of age. We have gained 50 years in life expectancy we don't have the biology to support that. So when we discover that stem cells are the natural repair system, that stem cells are the renewal system of the body, meaning they are responsible for replacing the cells that are being lost as we age, there's no better strategy for longevity, and more than longevity, to basically to have health span within your lifespan, so that these extra 50 years that we have, we can have them with health, wellness, strength, strength vibrancy. Uh, in order to get that, we simply need to support the natural body's ability to repair and maintain its health. So that, to me, is the most important to know about stem cells, is that they're not just something that is done to you. They're there in your body every day of your life. They are, they are a gold mine for your health, uh, but they're also the culprit of why you develop problems because they decline in your life. So everything you can do to put more stem cells in circulation and support their function in your body, do it. Ex exercise, strong exercise, not just a walk in the park. Strong, intense exercise will release stem cells and will put stem cells in the blood circulation. Um, stress will reduce the ability of stem cells to migrate in the body and do their job. Cigarette smoking, alcohol, also, con I mean, excessive alcohol, will suppress the ability of stem cells to migrate into various tissues. Um, stress is probably one of the most important. Stress produces cortisol, and cortisol has been documented to suppress the ability of stem cells uh, to migrate into tissues and proliferate into tissues. So we live lives today where we are affected by stress every single day of our lives, sometimes to a large extent. So when you think about it, from, from our teens, we're exposed to stress and anxiety. During all that time, 
we suppress our ability to repair and stay healthy. We've always known that it's good to, to control anxiety, that anxiety and stress has been associated to a wide variety of, of, of diseases. Now we understand that a, a good part of, of the mechanism of action behind the effect of stress on diseases is that it suppresses your natural ability to repair. So suppress inflammation, systemic inflammation by eating food that have a lot of pigments, polyphenols, curcumin as well, turmeric. So these are all things that you can do to support the natural ability of stem cells in your body. The work that I have done in the field of stem cell research for the past 20 years is to identify plants plant extracts that we have documented work by supporting the release of stem cells from the bone marrow. Just like you have plants that can support the immune system, like echinacea, like beta-glucans, like uh, astragalus, and th there's a long list of plants that have been documented to support immune, f immune function. In the same way, as we discover that we also have a repair system, then we have discovered that we have plants that support the repair system in, uh, of your body. And all these plants that I've studied over the past 20 years, they're all uh, blended into a product uh, that is called Stem Regen. And that's what I've develop, developed over the past 20 years. So give it a shot and see what release stem cells with Stem Regen and with all the other activities of your life that support stem cells uh, to see what your stem cells can do for your health.